Okay, guys, this is uh, my man, Econoline from the 60s, Econoline 4 truck. This is the actual first item I ever bought off of eBay 13, 15 years ago. And this is January 2014. The reason why I got this red Econoline truck is when I was a little kid in the 70s, we'd go to South Georgia to visit my grandparents and some kids we played with down the street, they had a red truck and a red van and we were always playing with them. So when I saw this on eBay, I signed up and bought it. You notice it's missing the windshield and uh, it has a Ford hood emblem decal in the center. Let me get a better shot of that. And if you notice, it doesn't have the signature Econoline headlights. It has side-by-side -side headlights that, that they've used on other uh, 9 amp vehicles. And I, base, I believe a lot of the Ford vehicles they've used them on as well. Uh, well. Alright, there's a view of the passenger side. The paint is really good for the age. I mean, it does have the rubs on it. It's got rub across the back of the cab and on the corner of the bed. And come on, this is an old toy that was played with. The windshield is gone. It was like that when I got it. And actually, I don't even recall noticing when I bought this that the windshield was gone. I don't even remember what I paid for because I wanted it so bad. I, it was that kind of deal where the girl that showed me how to use eBay showed me how to look up these trucks. And this was the first one I came across that was red, so I bought it. Okay, there's a view of the back. Tow hook is still attached, uh, and the tailgate still operates properly. All right, and here's the driver's side of the nine landing Econoline Ford truck. Again, you know, hook caps are attached. Uh, white walls are in good shape on all four tires. Tires aren't split. They're in all really good shape. Well, as I said, the uh, problem is the windshield's missing, and there's some paint rubs. But again, it is an old toy. Okay, I put a kennel truck in this uh, shot so you can see the headlight differences. The kennel truck on the left has the signature Econoline headlights. The red truck does not. So that makes me wonder, is the red truck the older of the two or the newer of the two? For the kennel truck has uh, Nylant pressed in a bumper, and the red truck just has an N. And the Nylant, I'm sorry, the uh, camel truck has Ford pressed into the body between the headlights, and the red one just has the Ford emblem off of a what, what it's supposed to be like the hood emblem off of a '60 model Ford truck. Okay, out of all the Presto trucks I've, I have since my son was born, I, he's 22 now, and I bought this one shortly after, several years after he was born, but he used to play with this one a lot. He would play with it because the windshield wasn't in it, and he could stick his, uh, like, G.I. Joe men inside the cab and push it around. Because uh, I did let him play with these old toys. Because that's what they were for, and he played with them a lot with his other toys and action figures. Anybody out there who knows a lot about nylon toy trucks, especially the Conolines, if you could tell me a uh, year this came out, was it one of the first releases because of the headlights, or was it one of the last releases because of the headlights? I've noticed that some of the four toys that nylon put out. Toward it, later in the 70s didn't have Ford in the hubcaps. They had nylon in the hubcaps. Uh, so th that's why I wonder if this is an earlier one because it does have the Ford in the hubcaps. Well, that's it for this video. There's no one of my nylon Ford Econo lines that I just really love. Well, thank you for viewing this video and have a great day.